Hello, Hannah Suter here, product manager for the authentication team in the software supply chain security stage. I wanted to share some of the things that we've been working on in the authentication team. They are all related to tokens. Um, so tokens are super important. They are just as powerful um, as your user login credentials. And so our customers are wanting visibility into those existing across their instance or top level group. They want control over them. Um, they want to be able to um, revoke them, understand what they're being used for, give them um, different policies and things that maybe make them less privileged or less long lived. So this is kind of what we're working towards in terms of getting our giving our customers more control over their tokens. How we've made progress on that recently. Um, for personal access tokens, um, you can now rotate the token in the UI. So previously, this was done um, via an endpoint. And now if you need to rotate your token, you can also do this in the UI by just clicking the rotate button and hitting rotate. And then now you have a fresh new token that now expires um, in as long as your instance administrator or group owner sets the policy for. So that is a much easier way to rotate the token, especially for people who aren't comfortable uh, using the API. Now here also I am a um, top level group owner on this group. And we have a new menu item under secure called credentials. Um, this is on .com. This already exists on self-managed as the credentials inventory. So this was really about bringing this visibility into .com where now as a group owner, I'm able to see the um, PATS, SSH keys, and group and project access tokens for any enterprise user in my top level group. Just as a reminder, enterprise users, um, you have to verify your domain and then any user that has their primary email address matching that top level domain, um, they will sort of be designated an enterprise user, in which case the group owner can then have more control over them. Um, so here, this is the domain on our enterprise users. So that is why, for example, I don't see my personal access token that I just created in this list because I'm logged in using my GitLab employee account and the enterprise users functionality in this group is on this wbks.net domain. But you can see how we see the um, personal access tokens and SSH keys here from multiple users. And then we can also see our uh, group and project access tokens here, which project or group um, they have access to and what scopes those have. So maybe a use case here, right? We wanna make sure that um, if you're giving a group and pro pro project access token, which already has sort of a lot of access, especially the group tokens, if you want to, if you see them in this list and they have a bunch of different scopes, right? Or they have one scope that gives access to everything. You may want to reach out to whoever created it and tell them to maybe narrow the scopes or you may wanna revoke it altogether. So this is all about giving uh, our customers visibility into credentials that they didn't otherwise have. Thanks for listening.